So you have to find a hobby that you can make money on and you can make money on any hobby out there as long as you do it. You have to do it every day consistently. Put yourself out there before you have the equipment, before you look good, before you lose the weight, before you're fully raw, before you know what you're doing or talking about. You have to do it before and then keep going and then you'll reach your 10,000 hours and then you'll be an expert and then you'll be making lots and lots of money. Can you explain where you are now? Like, How does your career look right now? How are you bringing in the dough, the, the money? I didn't go out. I didn't party. You know what I did? I took Kuba's advice and I worked on something of value that I could give away for free. So I spent mm -hmm. the whole year finishing my ebook that I was working on for four years. Cut to, I get to the end of the year, December, 2020, and I have no more money. I have no, absolutely no more money. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to move. They're kicking us out of the condo. I have to move. I have to pay like three months rent to move into somewhere else. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm freaking out. I scrapped that ebook. I don't think it's good enough. I start a new book. Okay. A hundred free recipes.com. Okay, you can get it today, 100freerecipes.com. Mm -hmm. I started this new book. I stayed up all night. I worked nonstop on this book and I started giving it away for free. I learned how to create a website, which Kuba uh, helped me with. Um, I don't know if we want to talk about that. But anyway, I created a website. I gave away this thing for free in exchange for your email address. Okay, so I'm not being sneaky, but hey, nothing's free in this motherfucking world. Okay, you you get you, you got to earn stuff. So to get my book, you got to give me your email address. And you can always unsubscribe. Okay, but I get your email, you get my free book. And from there, I got a coaching client, my first coaching client, December 2020. So it took only like a few weeks of giving away my book for free. That's in the amazing. email, in the email, that you get when you sign up for my book, when you get my book, I say, if you'd like me to coach you, reply to this email. Somebody replied and thank God. And that started me making money. Now understand that in 2020, that was um, 17, hold on. I started Misfit Vegan in 2012, but I got serious about it in 2017. 17, 18, 19, 20, four years of nonstop work. And I'm talking about not a day off of posting on YouTube, Instagram. I was doing a lot of Snapchat, which I wish I didn't, but I was doing Snapchat back in the day a lot. But Instagram, YouTube, every single day. I have almost 3,000 videos on YouTube. You can watch them all. I recommend you watch them all. And um, yeah, so four years of hard work led up to that December 2020, where I finally gave away my free book. I had a product to give away. And then I got one coaching client and I've been working for myself ever since then. That is amazing. Yes. And and in those days when you were posting, because I saw you were posting like every day you're putting out YouTube videos. Still am. Still am. Still Don't are. play yourself. But in those days you weren't making money like off the coaching, but were you making some money off the YouTube ads and stuff like that? First of all, you have to get monetized. So it takes a thousand subscribers to get monetized on YouTube. That took me, uh, I think, a year. So by 2018, I was monetized. I think the most I ever made on YouTube since 2017 was $700 a month. That's like the most I ever made. And I have a video with, um, I had a video with a million views. They took it down. It was a Wim Hof guided tutorial, but Wim Hof didn't want me to guide people because my voice is obviously better than his. He got jealous, so he took it down. And then I have another video with like almost half, a no, over half a million views. And then, you know, like I have some viral videos that help a lot, but like right now, I mean, literally, I think I made $200 on YouTube last month. So like YouTube is not a way to make money at all unless you get really lucky and you go viral with like a lot of videos because it's all about the views. I only have a few viral videos. Let me tell you something about luck though. Luck is real, but you make it happen. So you can get lucky if you don't stop. You will earn luck, okay? Luck will happen to you and I'm gonna blow up any day now. So consider yourself lucky, Kuba, that I even have the time to talk to you because soon I won't. 
but I'm going to blow up any day now. Okay. And I'm going to get very lucky because of the non stop effort that I've put in. And the good thing about what I'm doing guys, and I want you to do this too, is get something that is like a hobby for you and you do it anyway. So like this interview, I would love to do anyway. I don't get paid for this. I'm certain I'm definitely not getting paid for this, but I'm so honored to do it because Cuba has helped and helped me so much and changed my life, given me such good advice. And he's a very valuable person in my life. So I'll always do interviews with Cuba, but the YouTube videos, the reels, the, all that stuff that I do, the content, I'm going to do it anyway. anyway. I'm going to do it anyway till the day I die because I love it. So you have to find a hobby that you can make money on and you can make money on any hobby out there. As long as you do it, you have to do it every day, consistently put yourself out there before you have the equipment, before you look good, before you lose the weight, before you're fully raw, before you know what you're doing or talking about, you have to do it before and then keep going. And then you'll reach your 10,000 hours and then you'll be an expert and then you'll be making lots and lots of money. So that's the secret. So that's the timeline. you're sharing your journey along the way. And as you yes. do it, you get better and better. Yeah, my biggest regret, my biggest entrepreneurial regret, Kuba, is that I didn't start sooner because like I said, I started Misfit Vegan in 2012, but I didn't put my face on the internet until 2017 because I wanted to like lose the weight. I wanted to clear my skin. I wanted to be raw for a really long time. I wanted to look perfect. I wanted to have everything figured out. I wanted to like just be super like confident in my abilities to teach the raw food diet. And I should have started when I first started the raw food diet. I wish, but I waited, you know, 2011, 12, see 13, your transformation. Yeah. I waited seven years and that's the biggest regret I have of my life because I mean, I would be so much further along. I've been raw for over 13 years. I've only been on the internet for seven. So half of my, I waited, I waited so long. So listen, guys, if I can do it and I waited so long, you can definitely do it. Just, you got to start today and put out that content before you have the equipment, before you have the mic, before you have, you see, I don't even have the right equipment. I have this stupid headphones I don't even have good equipment yet. I mean, I'm 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 making a full-time living doing it. I don't even have like good stuff. I got a $20 ring light, $20 headphones, and my phone. Okay? Like, <laughs> come on. There's no excuse. Anyone can do that. Anyone. Come on. Yeah, so when you share your journey even before you're really ready or you're before you're perfect, people see your journey and they see your progress and then they also see your transformation. They see where you came from and where you are now. Yeah. And I think that's very inspiring. And you're more relatable, Kuba. Like I'm not very relatable to most people. I think that if I was starting my journey and sharing, you know, having cravings and falling off the wagon and like, you know, trying this, trying that, I think people would yeah. like me more because I'll be more relatable. Now, like now they somebody see, like, asked you were born out of a watermelon and you just yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> born in that room right there that you're in. Yeah. <laughs> no. So the other day I was doing an interview and somebody said, so what is misfit vegan eat when she falls off it's and i'm not relatable because everyone falls off right mm, but i don't i don't i don't fall off so like that's not a good thing when it comes to being an entrepreneur entrepreneurs they want to be relatable you know they want to be one like you say one um what do you say one step in front of your client yeah like like one or a few steps ahead yeah 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 like if, if you want to like be one, one step out of ten ahead. uh you could be at level four helping the people at level one and two correct and as you're helping yes. them you're getting experience you get to level six and then you can help the fours and fives you know you keep leveling up and helping the people below you yes now i'm not going i'm not trying to be an asshole but i'm at level 10 on the <laughs> raw food work on the raw food diet and yeah. i don't crave unhealthy foods and I don't get excited about making recipes anymore. And everybody wants, you know, the recipes and everybody wants to get ex like, you know, like people want the, the healthy, like delicious raw vegan recipes from the dehydrator and the tacos and the thing. And, but I don't care about that anymore because it's been so long. I don't make those. I don't need those. I don't crave those. I crave fruit and that's the damn truth. And people can't relate to that. Um, and so that's like not an ideal situation. You want to start now, not in 10 years, like, like I'm doing, you know, because I'm not relatable. 
and not everyone wants to eat like me. Not everyone can eat like me. And that's not a good thing. You know, I'd wish, I wish that I started coaching way earlier, just maybe one year after or two years after I went raw, you know? Okay. So that's a good lesson, but you are crushing it now. Anyway, you're coaching people, you're helping your community, you're doing workout challenges. You're doing so many cool things, helping a lot of women. And I think men as well. Retreats. Retreats coming up in my own retreat retreat with, uh, with Jessica, right? My good friends, Brianna and Jessica. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. So can you explain where you are now? Like, how does your career look right now? How are you bringing in the dough, the the money? Bringing in that money. Okay. Well, my high ticket item is 